Hello everybody, my name is Mike and today we're going to be talking about auto rotations. Straight in auto rotation with power recovery. The purpose of this maneuver is to simulate safely landing the helicopter with a complete power loss. The entry. From level flight at 65 to 70 knots, 500 foot to 700 foot AGL and headed into the wind, smoothly but firmly lower the collective full down without reducing the throttle. Coordinate the collective movement with right pedal for trim and aft cyclic to maintain a 60 to 70 knot attitude. The RPM needles will usually split, establishing an autorotative descent. If the needles do not split, reduce the throttle slightly. Cross-check attitude, trim, and rotor RPM, as well as airspeed. With two occupants on board, anticipate a slight increase in rotor RPM, which will require a small increase in collective. This small increase in collective is known as catching the build. The glide. After the descent has been established, slowly reduce the airspeed to 60 to 70 knots and maintain this attitude throughout the glide. During straight-in autorotative glides, aft cyclic movement will cause an increase in rotor RPM, which is controlled by a small increase in collective. If the collective is increased to control the rotor RPM, hold or retard the throttle slightly to prevent the governor from joining the needles. Avoid a large collective increase, which will result in a rapid decay of rotor RPM and lead to chasing the RPM. Maintain RPM in the green and the aircraft in trim during the glide. Below 200 feet AGL, maintain RPM within the accepted standards and keep the aircraft in trim during the glide. Below 200 feet, maintain the aircraft alignment with the ground track. A constant 60 to 70 knot attitude should be held with the cyclic. Avoid looking straight down in front of the aircraft and continually cross-check attitude trim, rotor RPM, and airspeed. Please note, this is a practice maneuver and prior to the helicopter descending through 200 feet AGL, the instructor and student should make an immediate power recovery if the following three conditions do not exist. One, rotor RPM stabilized between 97 and 102 percent. Two, airspeed stabilized between 60 and 70 knots. And three, a normal rate of descent, usually less than 1,500 feet per minute. The flare. At approximately 40 feet AGL, begin the flare with aft cyclic to reduce forward airspeed and decrease the rate of descent. The amount of flare will depend on wind conditions, gross weight, and air density. Cyclic input should gradually be increased so that ground speed and rate of descent are significantly decreased. Too much flare will cause the helicopter to balloon up and create a situation where a high vertical descent will be needed, as well as airspeed being lost. The power recovery. At approximately eight to 10 foot skid height, begin to level the helicopter with forward cyclic. Extreme caution should be used to avoid an excessive nose high or tail low attitude below 10 feet. Just prior to achieving a level attitude, with the nose still slightly up, increase the collective while maintaining heading with left pedal. If the engine RPM is below 80%, increase the throttle and allow the governor to increase the RPM to 104%. Do not allow the helicopter to descend below 5 feet during the power recovery process. Performance Standards For your private certificate, RPM control must be maintained between 97 and 102 percent. Airspeed may not vary by more than 10 knots above or 5 knots below your target airspeed. Completion of the auto rotation to a stabilized hover must be within 200 feet of your predetermined landing spot. For your commercial certificate, RPM control must be maintained within 100 to 102 percent, airspeed within plus or minus five knots, and completing the auto rotation in a stabilized hover plus or minus 100 feet from the predetermined landing spot. 
I hope you found that video on auto rotations informative. Please check out our other video on quick stops. Please like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you soon.